All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. And I just kind of want to preface everything by just kind of restating the title of this video. I mean, self-accountability just does not exist anymore. It's pretty insane to me that, I mean, for the most part, I've kind of grown up in a world where everything is like kind of catered to the dumbest people in society, right? Literally everything comes with a warning label now. I mean, you basically have to warn people not to put chocolate milk in their gas tanks and fill their cars up. You gotta tell people, hey, don't swallow metal. It seems like anything and everything has become a threat. And it's mostly because there's a very specific group of people in society, a very small chunk of the population that is just genuinely too stupid to do anything. Like, the fact that they're even alive is a miracle. I mean, these people are so dumb that you would have thought that they went out at the age of, like, 15 because they walked out in front of a city bus, right? And the people that, like, uh, we're, we're kind of talking about in this video, when you really think about it, like, 5,000 years ago, would have just been completely, like, it would have been over. They'd have been done. So apparently, uh, you have to tell people that drinking 12 cans of energy drinks a day is bare, it's just horrible for your health. I mean, I felt like this would be common knowledge, like, if you know what an energy drink is, what it contains, right? Like, what it does... I would have figured that virtually anybody on planet Earth uh, could be able to figure out like, yeah, maybe I shouldn't drink a 12 pack of Monster a day, but apparently there is people out in society that we have to constantly remind this to. So today we're going to be taking a look at a story of a grown man who was drinking 12 cans of energy drinks per day, suffered a near fatal heart attack because of his addiction to energy drinks, and is now pushing for a ban on sales to children for energy drinks. Uh, because his 10-year-old daughter was able to walk into a convenience store and buy one. Now, this is essentially the same argument uh, that, like, all video games are horrible, like, violent ones. Uh, you can't let kids play those because they'll go kill somebody. Like, it's a very stupid argument that has no basis in reality. It's essentially just scapegoating an inanimate object because you're a completely fucking horrible parent and you have no ability to manage anything that your children do, manage their habits manage what they spend money on. Uh, it's, once again, just a way of getting out of accountability, which is something that society has kind of, I, I think, really pushed recently. Like, nobody really seems to understand how to take any self-accountability anymore. Nobody really seems to be able to figure out, uh, you know, that they're at fault for things sometimes, and that their actions have consequences, and that it's up to them to raise their children. So, anyway, let's go ahead and uh, start looking through this story. A man who once downed a dozen energy drinks per day is warning parents to be sure that their children avoid the, quote, dangerous beverages. Lee Kamen, 55, has embarked on a campaign for kids' health after discovering that his daughter Summer, 10, had managed to purchase a Monster Energy drink at a convenience store next to her elementary school. Kamen was once known to consume 8 to 12 energy drinks per day. The owner of Vault Bar in Hull, United Kingdom, has said that his demanding work led him to drink the energy-boosting bevs constantly to, quote, keep me going, he, hold, he told Hull Daily. I would buy cases of 24 cans and just drink them like any other drink, said the lifelong barman who added that his brands of choice were Red Bull and Monster. His habit continued for about a year, came and said, until he suffered a near-fatal heart attack in 2017 and then swore off of the stuff completely. One day I collapsed with a heart attack and had to have a stent fitted. I am now on medication for life due to these dangerous drinks, he claimed. Alright, I first want to preface uh, everything here by saying no, it's not due to these dangerous drinks. You can't blame the cans of Monster that you consumed for the heart attack. The effects of caffeine are very well documented at this point. It's not like they've never done any scientific research on this. There's literally warning labels on the cans. You can look up the effects of energy drinks on the internet at any point and figure out what they can do to you. I haven't really consistently drank energy drinks in about three or four years now, but last time that I remember... I'm pretty sure there's actually a warning label on the cans that it suggests that you don't overconsume energy drinks. The fact that we as a society have put all these warnings on everything, on things that should just be common sense, and even then you're t still too fucking stupid to kind of figure it out. As a man in his 20s, I don't personally have to be told that energy drinks are fucking dangerous if you consume them at a heavy amount on a regular basis. I mean, l let's do some math real quick here. If you were drinking 12 cans of energy drinks per day for about a year, that means that you would have consumed around 4,380 cans of energy drinks in, what, 365 days? 
I don't think that it should be any more than just common sense for that to be told to you that that was going to happen. You're a 55 year old man drinking fucking a 12 pack of monster energy drinks per day. It's almost like a sketch, right? Like a comedic relief that you kind of figured that that wasn't going to happen to you. So when Cayman discovered that his daughter had been able to purchase the very same beverage that he claimed had nearly taken his life, next to a school no less, he quote, took it straight off of her and poured it straight down the drain, he said. The next step that he took was to call the school and warn administrators of the dangers next door, who then sent their own warning to parents reminding that students should be advised against consuming sugary caffeinated drinks for the sake of their health and performance at school. Cayman believes that parents and kids aren't well educated in the negative impact of energy drinks. Quote, when I was in the hospital after the attack, uh, the doctor told me the energy drink consumption was the cause. I didn't have a clue that there was anything wrong with drinking them until then, he claimed. It was a hell of a shock at the time, but now I am passionate about this issue. Uh, it was a, it was a shock to you because you're a fucking idiot. There's no other way to put it. I mean, you're just a complete moron, right? Like, you literally might not be able to read if you didn't know that this was fucking dangerous. Consuming too much of literally anything is dangerous. Your children shouldn't drink too much Capri Sun. They shouldn't drink too much soda. They shouldn't drink too much water. It doesn't really matter. You know what I'm saying? It's not healthy. Now, to say you didn't have a clue that there was anything wrong with drinking a product that literally on the can tells you that it's extremely high in caffeine and sugar and that over-consuming it is fucking dangerous makes you an idiot, okay? And I'm just going to straight up say it. The fact that your child was able to buy a product at a convenience store that there's no legal restrictions on buying for them is absolutely sensible, okay? A 16-year-old who has high school finals coming up and can actually consume a drink in moderation because somehow at the age of 16, they can exercise the uh, way more self-control than a 55-year-old man can is a possibility that should be considered. Uh, people who can consume beverages like this in moderation should not be fucking punished because you, as a more than grown adult, were too dumb to figure out that drinking 12 cans of, of Red Bull a day was gonna give you wings as in it turns you into a fucking angel and you get to go to heaven. The thing is, is you made the right parenting choice, okay? Like, you actually had the whole situation figured out. The best thing you could have done if you really opposed your child buying the energy drink was yes, Take it away from them and get rid of it. I mean, it really shouldn't have gone any further than that. I mean, you can just look at your kid and be like, hey, you're not allowed to have energy drinks. You know that, right? That is a possibility. You don't have to have the government literally restrict you legally uh, from having children purchase these kinds of things because you suck as a parent. It's the same thing w with, like, anything. There's so many convenience stores, which th it's insane that this is being used as an excuse. Oh, well, the convenience store sold it to her. I don't know about you guys, but when I was 15, I could have walked into basically any gas station in my city and been like, hey, can I have three packs of White Owl strawberry? And they'd have handed them bitches to me and not even flinched about an, I uh, an ID, okay? So, I don't know if you know this, but convenience stores are out to make money, and they're gonna sell shit to children to make money. It happens. They're acting like this is a fucking, like, surprise that could have never have happened, you know? Like, oh my god, how dare this convenience store sell a product that's not restricted to somebody? The idea that the government has to parent your children for you is, once again, just another leading example of why self-accountability doesn't exist anymore. As parents, your job is to set rules for your own children, not for everybody else's. If your children is fi are finding ways, basically, to go purchase energy drinks without your permission, there's a lot to take in there, okay? First off, how are they getting the money to even buy these things, okay? If you're giving them an allowance, simply stop giving them an allowance if they're going to spend it on shit you don't want them spending it on. Uh, if they're working or cutting grass or something like I did when I was a kid in order to get money, uh, then simply just... Once again, set the rule, you can't have energy drinks, and if I find out you do, uh, you fucking parent. However, you know, it's not my job to tell you how to parent. Uh, you shouldn't be having to learn how to parent from a young man in his, in his early 20s who has no children of his own, okay? I shouldn't be having to teach you guys how to parent your children while I play Battlefield. This is your job, okay? If you're gonna have kids, you be responsible for them. If you're not, then shut the fuck up. Simple. I just, I can't believe that we're really at this point in our society where you have to explain to a 55 year old man that the label on the back of the can actually means something and he should read it, right? Because the truth of the matter is, is like right now I'm looking at a cup of yogurt, okay? I got a nice little cup of yogurt that I ate a little bit ago. You honestly don't have to tell me that there's going to be sugar in this yogurt, okay? 
And you don't honestly have to tell me that if I eat 17 cups of yogurt in a day, that it's not going to be fucking good for me, okay? That's not something that has to be explained to me. Same thing with anything. If I go to the store and I go ahead and I get me a 12-pack of beer or whatever, right? Because, well, I mean, I can legally buy myself some alcohol. Like right here, I got a beer in my hand, okay? This beer tells me about the dangers of drinking alcohol, okay? But me, as a sensible adult... I don't need to be told that this is a thing that can have a fucking problem. At the age of 55, you should not be at a point in life where things like this have to be explained to you. Very simple. Your 10-year-old your daughter, maybe. But you, absolutely not. And with that being said, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you're brand new around here on the channel. Follow me over on Twitter and Twitch at sub to Optimus. Make sure to check out Shop Opti down below. And until my next video, guys, this is Optimus Well, taking self-accountability and signing out.